Okay, I'm talking about apologies and saying I'm sorry. Those words can oftentimes feel a little empty whether we're saying them or hearing them. I believe that using the word I'm sorry or the term I'm sorry should be reserved for situations where maybe you bumped into another person or there's something simple that happened. Most instances where reconciliation is necessary are not solved by saying I'm sorry alone. Doing so can exacerbate or escalate a situation that could have easily been diffused. I'm sorry is inadequate in a situation where the offender has used grace from another person. In such cases, the offended person must be made to feel that the offender cares about their feelings in such a way that they are truly remorseful about what happened. So here's a five-step simple and effective and thoughtful method for reconciling where I'm sorry is simply not enough. So first of all, you want to describe it fully. Talk about what happened and name it in clear language without skirting the central theme or making excuses of any kind. Say something like, I'm sorry that I, and then fill in the blank for whatever happened. Second, own it. Take full responsibility without shifting blame in whole or in part to any other person or entity. Resist the temptation to diminish ownership in any way. You could say something like, that was wrong of me because, and then describe that circumstance. Third, make a commitment. Make a clear commitment that what happened to the extent you are able will not happen again. You could say something like this, I will not do that again. Fourth, seek forgiveness. Ask the offended person to forgive you and give them some time to offer that forgiveness, to accept that forgiveness, to give you that forgiveness. Say something like, will you please forgive me? And sometimes that might take a day, a two, or a week, or even longer. Step number five, wrap them up. Express your care for them on an appropriate level. The final step may look different between friends and family or a professional setting, but it still needs to be there. For for your child or a family member, you could say, I love you, followed by a hug, maybe pray with them. At work, it might look different. With friends, it might look even different. Stay reconciled and enjoy a life that is much less stressful. Take this model into every area of your life as a maintenance tool for your relationships. Take your repentance seriously along with your commitment to not repeat the offenses. If you do repeat the offenses, then continue to use the process and redouble your efforts to see your offenses from the eyes of the others affected. And with that, you will be successful at staying reconciled and not having people that are offended because you just said I'm sorry for something that really needed more attention than that.